I have to admit, Peter, I never thought I'd find myself on a date with you, but this place is lovely. Yeah, I uh, did a lot of research. By research, I mean I asked the guy at the gas station where's good to eat. Here we are, the chef's special for the lady and the mega-sized meat lover's extravaganza for sir. Wow, that's, that's a lot of meat. I'm not compensating for anything, I promise. It's okay, Peter. It's nice to see someone with a healthy appetite. Is there anything else I can get for you two lovebirds? No, no, we're good. Thanks. Lovebirds, huh? Heh, <laughs> guess we're playing the part pretty well. Oh, absolutely. You're quite the romantic, Peter Griffin. Who knew? Well, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve. You know, like making sure I don't spill anything on this fancy tablecloth. Aim high, Peter. Aim high. Hey, look at that dog. Seems like he's trying to tell us something. Hey there, little guy. Are you lost? Well, not exactly lost, more like unattached. And you're the first folks who've actually stopped to chat. Name's Brian, by the way. Whoa, a talking dog. This is like one of those TV shows where animals talk, except it's real. Brian, you can actually talk? That's incredible. Yup, and I've got a lot of stories to tell, but you know, no one to share them with. Well, buddy, how about a piggyback ride? You look like you could use a lift. Oh, I'm all for that. Haven't had this much fun in ages. Brian, do you have a family? A place to call home? Not really. I've been a lone wolf, er, dog for quite some time now. Well, that's about to change. April, what do you say we make this witty fella part of our family? I think that's a wonderful idea. Brian, how would you like to come home with us? Are you kidding? I'd love that. You guys are the best thing that's happened to me in dog years. Welcome to Peely's Paradise for Pets. How can I make your day more possum? We're here to make an official addition to our family. Meet Brian. We want to adopt Brian. He's already stolen our hearts. That's absolutely bananas. I mean, we've had parrots that talk, but this is next level. This place is incredible. So many smells, so many sights. I'll need you to fill out these forms. Just the usual stuff. Promise to give belly rubs, provide endless treats, that sort of thing. Belly rubs and treats? Brian's going to live like a king. And he deserves it. Congratulations. Brian is officially part of your family now. This is the best day ever. Thank you, Peter and April. You won't regret this. Welcome to the family, buddy. We're so happy to have you, Brian. Hey, Catface, give me that toy now or I'll bite you. Brian, what do you think you're doing? I'm so sorry, sweetie. Brian didn't mean any harm. I was just playing. I didn't mean to make him cry. Brian, that's not how we play with others. You need to apologize to Kit right now. I'm sorry, Kit. I got carried away. It's okay. Just be nicer next time. You're grounded, mister. No more tennis for a while. Grounded? But I just said sorry. Saying sorry is good, but you also need to learn from your mistakes, Brian. And no sneaking out or trying to talk your way out of this one. Okay, I understand. I'll be better, I promise. And here we have the living room with natural light flooding in. Isn't it just perfect for family gatherings? Oh, Peter, look at this space. We could have a beautiful Christmas tree right there. And check out this pool table. It's huge. I could play day and night on this. It's too clean. And where's the personality? It feels like a hotel, not a home. 
But Brian, think of all the space you'll have to play. Yeah, and you can't be grounded in a place this big. You won't even feel it. I don't know. It's just not for me. It's too fancy. It's always tough to move to a new place, Brian. But think of the adventures you could have here. I can't believe this happened. Our beautiful home. Brian, what were you thinking? Making a fire inside the house for marshmallows? I thought it would be fun, like camping. Didn't mean for this to happen. Brian, you burned down our house. That's way beyond a little mischief. We're all upset, but yelling isn't going to fix anything. We need to figure out what to do next. I'm so sorry. I just, I thought the house was too nice. I didn't feel like it was a place for us, you know? More like a museum than a home. Brian, a home is about the people in it, not just the walls and roof. You should have talked to us if you felt that way. We'll figure this out together. But Brian, no more reckless ideas, okay? We need to trust each other. I understand. I promise. No more fires or anything crazy. I just want to make things right. Guys, I need help. Parenting is way harder than I thought, especially with a talking dog who's a bit of a handful. Parenting advice from the Ninja Masters. You've come to the right place, Peter. Yeah, how hard can it be? Just teach him some ninja moves, keep him busy. Ninja moves? He set our house on fire. Not exactly a discipline problem. How about a pizza diet? Pizza solves everything. And maybe some meditation? You know, for his inner peace and stuff. I'm not sure pizza and meditation are gonna cut it. He's really pushing the boundaries. Well, you could always try the old time out in the sewer trick. Works wonders for keeping us in line. Yeah, or maybe some brotherly bonding. Like, take him on a skateboarding adventure, show him some cool tricks. You guys are great, but I think Brian might need something a bit more traditional. Hey, we're just throwing ideas out there. Parenting's a whole different kind of battle. Good luck, Peter. You're gonna need it. This part is hilarious. Watch the chicken's face. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. Movies with a talking dog are way better. Ready to eat my dust, Brian? In your dreams, Peter. I've got four paws of speed. You know, Peter, I've really come to enjoy these family dinners. They're way better than eating out of trash cans. Glad to hear that, Brian. You've really turned a new leaf. No more setting houses on fire, right? Dinner's ready. It's so nice to have everyone together like this. It sure is. We've come a long way, haven't we, Brian? Absolutely. And I wouldn't trade this family for the world. To family, the most unexpected and best adventure of all. To our family, quirks and all. Mikey, you're so wrapped up in April, you've forgotten who you are. That's not true. I can care for April and still be a part of this team. But your actions say otherwise. You're always distracted, always late. We're just worried about you, Michelangelo. You're not yourself these days. So, what? You think I can't balance my personal life and my duties? I've always been there for you guys. You used to be there, but now you're just gone. Lost in your little world with April. Michelangelo, maybe we should... No. I won't let them make me choose between my family and you. It's not about choosing. It's about finding a balance. If you can't see that I can love April and still be a ninja turtle, then maybe I don't belong here. Mikey. Come on, let's go. I can't stay where I'm not trusted. was the right thing to do? I had to. They just don't understand. But your brothers, they're your family. Can't you see they're just worried about you? They don't get it. They think I can't handle being with you and being a turtle. 
Maybe they have a point. You've been different lately. Different? How? Because I'm in love? No, it's not just that. You've been distant even with me. It's like you're constantly torn. Torn? I love you. That's not going to change. But love isn't just about saying it. It's about choices, about balancing your life. Can you honestly say you've been doing that? I'm trying. I really am. I don't know what I want. I just know something needs to change. Are you saying you want a break? April, stay here. I've got to check something out. Raphael, what are you doing here? Spying on us? I'm just... I'm just making sure you're okay. I don't need a babysitter, especially not for my own brother. You left the team. You left us. We're worried about you. So, you spy on me? That's not concern. That's mistrust. You've changed. Ever since April, it's like we don't even know you anymore. I haven't changed. I've just... I've just found someone who understands me. Michelangelo, what's going on? Nothing. Just a family misunderstanding. Family? Is that what we are to you now? Just a misunderstanding? That's not what I meant. You know that. Do I? Because right now I don't know anything about you. Let's settle this with a street fight then! Michelangelo. What on earth was that? Stay in the car. I got this. Thought you could hide from me, turtle. You picked the wrong day to mess with me, Silas. Be careful, Michelangelo. Don't worry about me. Are you okay? I am now. That was incredible. Let's get out of here before he comes back. Miles, Gwen, we need your help. Silas Hesk is after us. Michelangelo, we're dealing with our own crisis right now. We wish we could help, but our hands are full with a major threat in the city. But we don't know where else to turn. Isn't there anything you can do? I'm sorry, you're a great fighter. Trust in your skills. You've got each other. That's more than most can say. We'll figure this out, Michelangelo. We have no choice. Thanks anyway, guys. April, are we really doing this? Leaving everything behind? We have to, Mikey. It's the only way we can be safe and together. I know. It's just, I never imagined leaving the city, the guys. I know it's hard, but we need a fresh start, away from all this chaos. A life by the sea, just you and me. It sounds like a dream. It will be our dream, Mikey, a peaceful life, Far from danger. Okay, let's do it. For us. For our future. April, check me out. I'm like a sea turtle in its natural habitat. Be careful, Mikey. Don't go too far. April, help. I can't. I'm stuck. Mikey, hold on. I'm coming. I've got you, Mikey. Don't give up. Come on, Mikey. Breathe. Please breathe. April, you did it. You saved me. I thought I lost you, Mikey. I couldn't bear the thought of it. 
I owe you everything, April. You're my hero. No matter what comes our way. Together. Always. You and me against the world. I promise from now on, we face every challenge side by side. That's a promise I'm holding you to. You know, Raph, I always thought our missions could use more... pizzazz. Yeah, getting shot at really spices things up, Mikey. Did you see that? She's like, ninja meets superhero. Yeah, and she's cute too. We've got a follower. Maybe she'll give me a kiss for saving us. In your dreams, bro. If anyone's getting a kiss, it's gonna be me. Race you there. First one to get a kiss wins. You're on, little brother. What do we have here? Two handsome turtles lost in tech land? Nisha, we uh, didn't see you there. Yeah, just working on this very important tech thing. You guys always this focused, or am I just that distracting? Well, it's not every day we're graced with such company. Yeah, Leo here gets especially tongue-tied around beautiful women. So, which one of you is going to ask me out first? I think I should have the honors, as the leader and all. Not so fast. I've got my own charm, you know. You two are adorable. How about I make it easy? I'll decide after the next mission. Impress me, boys. April. You know, you light up the whole station. You're such a charmer, but I like it. Michelangelo, I knew I'd find you here. How about you ditch this news chick and hang with me? Excuse me? News chick? I'm his date. Uh, Skull Scout? This isn't really a good time? Come on, we'd have so much fun together. I even brought my nunchucks. Listen, Skull Scout. I don't know what your deal is, but he's with me, so back off. Whoa, ladies, let's not turn this into a ninja battle. April, you were amazing. Thank you for standing up for us. Nobody messes with my date, especially not some ninja wannabe. Fine, but this isn't over. Welcome to the best Christmas bash in town. Who's ready for some mistletoe magic? This is lively. Right, Raf? A little too lively for my taste. Where's the pizza? Time for some festive fun. Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, come on. Not the mistletoe thing. Gotcha. Now you've been officially holiday kissed. Well, I guess it's not so bad being caught. All right, all right, you got us. But next time, we're bringing the mistletoe. All right, Donnie, just blend in and gather the intel. Hey there, tall, dark, and mysterious. Haven't seen you around here before. Uh, yeah, I'm just new in town, enjoying the vibe. Well, you definitely stand out. How about I show you the real highlights of this place? Sure, that'd be... great. So, mysterious guy, got any moves? Or are you all about the tech and gadgets? Oh, I've got a few moves. But I'm better with gadgets. You know, I don't usually go for the undercover type. But there's something about you. Maybe it's time I showed you some of my special tech. Wonder Woman, I'm flattered, but I think you might have the wrong idea. 
Oh, come on. A little chase just adds to the fun. This party's over, Turtle. Not cool, Midas. Not cool. You shouldn't have done that. He was my catch. Well, let's see what you've got. You can't just push people around, Midas. Michelangelo, Donatello, you're both just so amazing. Well, it's a tough choice, I know. I mean, look at me. Don't forget about me. I've got brains and brawn. How does a girl choose? I can't decide. I guess I'll have to catch you both. You know what? I'm actually getting kind of tired of all this running. Yeah, same here. Let's just let her catch us. Caught you both. I guess I win. You sure do. But just so you know, we let you win. Yeah, we're just that generous. Why can't I shake her off? She's like a persistent snowstorm. I need a hand. Wow, that was amazing. Well, now that we're alone. Hey, I didn't see this coming. Consider it a thank you for being so brave, Raphael. Well, in that case, I might need rescuing more often. Oh, Mikey, wait up, it's playtime. What did we get ourselves into? I don't know, Leo, but I'm not complaining. Come on, let's see if you can keep up with my holiday spirit. I've got some cool tricks up my sleeve, too. All right, Boxy, show me what you've got. And I'm all ears. Ah, April, you're like a pizza with all my favorite toppings. Just perfect. That should be me daydreaming about April. Mikey, this isn't the time for daydreaming. We need to focus on the mission plan. Chill, Leo. Even a ninja needs a break for love? I'm thinking of asking April out. Ask April out? Good luck with that. She probably wants someone a bit more... mature. Hey, ladies love a fun guy. And I'm as fun as they come. Plus... Who can resist this charm? Focus, Mikey. We can't afford distractions right now. Relax, Leo. A little love never hurt anyone. Besides, April's totally into fun, guys. April, I've got to tell you something. I think you're totally radical and, uh, I'd love to take you on a date. I, I like you too. I'd love to go on a date with you. I brought the best pizza in town. Hope you like extra cheese and pepperoni. It's perfect, Michelangelo. You really know the way to a girl's heart. Just a bit of ninja charm for our special date. You're full of surprises, Michelangelo. I'm having a great time. I never knew a night with a ninja turtle could be so magical. April, you make the sewer shine brighter than any star. I think I'm falling for you, Michelangelo. And I'm totally head over shells for you, April. We need to talk. You've been late to our last three training sessions, and your focus during missions is slipping. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about... You know, stuff. Stuff isn't an excuse. You're part of this team, and we rely on each other. He's talking about April. Our little bro is too busy being lovesick to be a ninja. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a little romance in my life. April's amazing. We're happy for you, but being a ninja requires commitment. You can't let personal feelings interfere with our duty. 
why can't I have both? I can be a ninja and have a girlfriend too. Because when you're with April, you're not here, not mentally. We need you 100%, especially when we're out there risking our shells. I get it, guys. I'll try to balance things better. April's important to me, but so are you dudes. That's all we ask. We're a team, a family. We look out for each other. Just remember where you belong, little bro. And if you need help, we're here. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll balance my time better. No more being late for missions, I promise. So, Michelangelo, let me teach you a thing or two about reporting. Pretend I'm interviewing you. All right, Ms. Reporter, ask away. Michelangelo, as a renowned ninja, what's your secret to staying so mysterious and agile? <laughs> a true ninja never reveals his secrets. But I can tell you, it involves a lot of pizza. You're a natural. Maybe you have a future in journalism too. April, I need to tell you something. My brothers, they think I'm spending too much time with you. They say I'm neglecting my duties. Michelangelo, I love spending time with you, but I also know how important your family is. Maybe try to find a balance. You're right. They're just looking out for me, I guess. I don't want to let them down. You won't. You're a great ninja and a wonderful person, Michelangelo. Just show your brothers they matter to you. Thanks, April. You always know what to say. You're amazing. I've always wanted my very own Lambo, and now I won't have to pay for it. Did that guy just jack my Lambo? Dude, Spidey, did you just see that? Some dude in a sneaky getup just swiped your ride. Tell me about it. That car was my baby. It had all the bells and whistles. Bells and whistles, huh? Sounds like it could ring a bell or two. Not the time for jokes. That car means a lot to me. This just got personal. We gotta tell Leo and the guys. Absolutely. But uh, let's keep it quiet about the whole Lambo stolen thing. I'll never hear the end of it from Iron Man. Your secret's safe with me. Let's roll out and catch that sneaky car thief. You won't believe what I just saw. Some sneaky dude just snatched Spidey's Lambo right off the street. A Lambo, huh? This sounds like more trouble than a pizza without cheese. What's the plan? Okay, check it out. We go ninja style into Montague's hideout and swipe it back. Just you and me, bro. No Leo, no Donnie. I like the sound of that. A little brotherly bonding while kicking some bad guy butt. Count me in. Awesome, but we gotta be stealthy like shadows in the night, and fast like, well, like a Lamborghini. Stealth is my middle name. Montague won't know what hit him. Here's the hideout. We'll need to be quick and quiet. And maybe grab a pizza on the way? You and your pizza. All right, let's gear up and get that Lambo back. Turtle style. A little shell shock action. Let's make this quick. What was that? I think someone's here. What's going on here? Who are you guys? Just a couple of pizza loving tourists. Mind showing us the way to the Lambo? Intruders in the base. I repeat, intruders. Sorry, no time for chit chat. Coast is clear. Now, where's that shiny ride? There it is, the Lambo, just as shiny as in the comics. 
nice wheels. But first, let's get out of here. My Lambo! You guys are amazing! How can I ever thank you? Well, a pizza party would be epic, but we're just doing our ninja duty. Yeah, saving fancy cars is all in a night's work for us. You guys deserve more than just thanks. Here, take this. Dude, are you serious? Our own Lambo? Absolutely. You've earned it, heroes. This is beyond awesome. Wait till Leo and Donnie see this. This is going to make our pizza run so much cooler. Just make sure to drive safely, okay? No ninja stunts on the streets. No promises. Thanks again. And then we were like, Ninja Vanish, and swooped in to save the day. Man, this Lambo is sick. How did you even get it? Let's just say, being a ninja has its perks. Is this your ride? It's amazing. Wanna take a spin? I can show you some real drift moves. Since when did Mikey become Mr. Popular? First a ninja, now a race car driver. Guess it's true what they say, chicks dig the car. Call me. Will do. See you around. Look at Mikey, living the high life. Who knew a Lamborghini would make such a difference? Hey, why should he have all the fun? Let's borrow Oscar's Lambo for a spin. Borrow? Are we sure that's a good idea? All right, but we return it before anyone notices. Agreed? see what this baby can do. Hey, stop! That's Oscar's car! We're gonna be in so much trouble for this. Just drive. We'll figure it out later. Eat my dust! This Lambo's got moves you can only dream of in your red tin can. Dream on. This Ferrari's got style and speed. Something your flashy Lamborghini can't even touch. Oh, please! My Lambo is like a lightning bolt on wheels. Yours is just, well, a Ferrari. It's not just a Ferrari, it's THE Ferrari. Pure class, Mikey. Something you and your Lambo wouldn't know about. Looks like I got here first. Lamborghini wins! In your dreams, little brother. It was a tie, and you know it. Plus, my ride has got more elegance in its exhaust than your Lambo has in its entire body. Whatever you say. But we all know deep down, speed and style? Lamborghini's got it all. Keep telling yourself that. Next time we race on a real track, then we'll see who's the king of speed. What's all this commotion about, and why are there two supercars here? Leo, you're looking at the fastest car in town. Well, technically, the Ferrari has a better torque to weight ratio, making it potentially faster in certain conditions. See, Donnie gets it. My Ferrari is not just about speed, it's about making a statement. Oh, come on. The Lambo is like a magnet for attention, especially from the ladies. Is that what this is about? Attracting attention? We're supposed to be ninjas, remember? 
How about we settle this once and for all? A challenge to see which car gets more attention, especially from girls. You're on! Team Lamborghini and Team Ferrari. Let's see who can score more dates and kisses. I'm not sure this aligns with our ninja principles, but I can't deny the scientific value of such an experiment. Fine, I'll team up with Raf. But let's keep it low-key. We don't need unnecessary attention. Check out the crowd. Looks like the Lambo's already working its magic. Well, it's certainly drawing attention. Let's see if our ninja charm can match the car's appeal. Hey, ladies! Ever seen a ninja in a Lamborghini before? Definitely a first for me. Are you guys, like, movie stars or something? Something like that. We're just enjoying the Sunset Boulevard in our not-so-subtle ride. Can I take a selfie with the car? It's so cool. Of course! And how about one with its charming drivers, too? You guys are so fun! Call us if you're ever in town again. You can count on that. Hey, Leo. Watch this. Time to show them what a real ninja can do. Just don't scare them off. Let the Ferrari do some of the work, too. You know, this Ferrari isn't just a pretty face, it's got moves just like us. Is that so? Well, your car is gorgeous, but I must say, your friend's flips are quite impressive. Thanks. It's all in a day's work for a ninja. But the Ferrari here is part of our team, too. A ninja and a Ferrari, huh? Quite the combo. I think that deserves a reward. Well, I guess that's one point for Team Ferrari. Looks like the Ferrari's charm is rubbing off on us. Donnie, watch and learn. Time to mix some ninja charm with Lamborghini glam. Just don't embarrass us. Oh my gosh, are you guys like ninja models or something? Ninja models? I like the sound of that. Michelangelo's the name. Bringing laughter is my game. Is this your car? It's amazing. And those gadgets inside, are they custom made? You bet. I love tinkering with tech. Built half of what you see in this beauty. for making our day fun. Well, that's a souvenir I didn't expect. Looks like the Lambo's doing its magic. Time to add a little spice to their evening. Sorry, bros, but I can't let Raphael win this one. A big explosion show should do the trick. Let's see how Raph likes this. What the shell is happening out there? Something's wrong. We need to check it out. This has Mikey written all over it. Calm down, Raph. We don't know that for sure. Let's not jump to conclusions. If Mikey thinks he can get away with this, he's got another thing coming. Let's not make a scene here. We'll deal with Mikey back at the lair. Better luck next time, bros! And then, you should have seen their faces when the car blew up. It was epic! I can't believe you actually did that, Mikey. It's kind of risky, you know? Risky, but totally worth it. We won, didn't we? So, it was you who sabotaged Raphael's Ferrari. Yeah, Mikey. That was a low blow, even for you. Hey, all's fair in love and street racing, right? Actually, Mikey, that's not really how we do things. 
This isn't just about the car, Mikey. It's about honesty and integrity. You crossed a line. You could have hurt someone with that stunt. What were you thinking? I just... I got caught up in the competition, I guess. Competition is fine, Mikey, but not at the cost of our values. We're a team, Michelangelo. We rely on each other. This kind of behavior puts all of us at risk. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cause trouble. I just wanted to win. Winning isn't everything, Mikey. Sometimes how you play the game is what really counts. Enough, guys. We're supposed to be a team. Stop it! This isn't solving anything! We can't keep going like this. Michelangelo, you know what you did was wrong. Fine. I get it. I cheated, okay? I'll give the Lambo to Raph. I don't even want it. I just want you to understand that what you did was dangerous. Here. Take it. I'm sorry, alright? We're your brothers. We just want what's best for you. We're a team, remember? We look out for each other. Hey, you two, stop it! That's it, I'm out of here. You two are on your own. You think you're better for her? April needs someone fun, not a walking calculator. And what? You're Mr. Perfect? She needs someone who's smart and thoughtful. She's my girlfriend. You need to back off, you! I can't help it. I love her too. And I think she deserves better. This isn't over. You haven't heard the last from me either. April, you won't believe what happened. Donnie just lost it. He actually said he loves you and came at me like a wild man. He, what? Donatello said he loves me? You don't have to worry about anything. You know I love you, right? Yeah, I know, it's just... Donnie's never acted like this before. It kind of threw me off. I'll talk to him. It's important we clear the air. I don't want any tension between you guys because of me. Just... be careful, okay? He's not acting like himself. I will. And I'll make sure he knows that my heart is with you. Thanks, April. You're the best. And don't you forget it. You guys have to believe me, Mikey just lost it. He attacked me because I admitted I have feelings for April. You can't just go around declaring your love for your brother's girlfriend. That's bound to cause trouble. Yeah, what did you expect? Flowers and thank you cards? But it's not just about my feelings. It's about April's safety. Mikey's not right for her. He's reckless and impulsive. Look, whatever your concerns, it's not our place to interfere in their relationship. Leo's right. This is something they need to sort out themselves. You should find someone else to focus on. I just want what's best for April. We know. But sometimes, the best thing we can do is step back and let things play out. Hey, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Maybe it's time you cast your net a little wider. Maybe you're right. I'll... I'll back off. I just want you to know, I love you more than pizza. And nothing, I mean nothing, will ever break us apart. That's a big statement coming from you. I love you too. This has to end. I have to be with April. Mikey just isn't right for her. Sorry, but this is for the best. April, down! You need to get out of here. Go home and stay safe. I'll handle this. Mikey, be careful. This has Montague written all over it. I need to find my brothers. Donatello, what are you doing here? And how did you get in my house? I need to tell you something important about Mikey. 
He's not who you think he is. What do you mean? Mikey, he says mean things about you when you're not around. He's not the right guy for you, April. I am. I truly care about you. I can't believe Mikey would do that. Thank you for telling me. Can you... Can you stay for dinner? I don't want to be alone. Of course, I'll stay. I'll do anything for you. Guys, we were attacked at the club. I think Montague's behind it. That wasn't Montague. That was probably Donny trying to sabotage your date. Yeah, he's been pretty wound up about you in April. What? Donny did that? I'll make him pay for this. Easy. Don't do anything rash. Remember, he's still our brother. I need to check on April first. Then, I'll deal with Donnie. Just remember, we're a family. Families have their ups and downs, but we stick together. I'll remember that. But if Donnie's behind this, we're going to have a serious talk. Donnie, what's this? Trying to steal my girl? Just keeping her company? Someone's got to look after her while you're off being heroic. What's wrong? Why are you so upset? He's been lying to you, April? He's trying to break us up. Or maybe I'm just showing her what a real gentleman looks like. Guys, stop it. This isn't the way to solve anything. Mikey! Michelangelo, how could you? Get out now! I swear, it was an accident. I didn't mean to... Accidents like this shouldn't happen. Maybe Donnie is right. Maybe you're not the right guy for me. You're my brother. How could you do this? It's not about you. It's about what's best for April. I need some time alone. Both of you, please leave. Guys, I don't know what to do about April. Donnie's messing everything up. Maybe it's time to let April go if she's causing this much trouble. Yeah, bro, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Forget about April. No, I can't just give up on her. I need to fix this. Why'd you lie to April about me? What's your problem? April's moved on, she's with me now. Coward. You can't hide the truth, Donnie. You can't steal her away. She deserves the truth. She's better off with me. This ends now. Stay away from April. She's not a prize to be won. Fine, but this isn't over. I'm going to set things right with April. You better back off. doing here? April, I need to tell you the truth. It was Donnie who caused the explosion at the club. What? Donnie did that? Yeah, he's been trying to break us up. He told you all those lies about me. I should have known. I'm sorry I doubted you, Mikey. I promise I'll never let anyone come between us again. And I believe you. What the shell, Raph? What did you do? Uh, I was just checking out this thingamajig, and it sort of exploded. That thingamajig was my latest invention. Do you have any idea how long it took to build? Hey! Easy with the brain bashing, Einstein. Whoa, Donnie's gone ninja on Raph. This I gotta see. This isn't funny, Mikey. Raphael just fried weeks of work. Oh, lighten up, Donnie. It's not like your gizmo was gonna save the world. Right, because who needs brains when you got brawn, huh? Ooh, burn. Raph, you gonna take that? At least I don't spend my days talking to machines. How's your love life with that computer, Donnie? 
Better than yours with the punching bag. At least my conversations are intelligent. Keep it going, guys. This is better than reality TV. Oscar, I've been thinking, maybe I don't belong with the turtles. My interests, my skills, they're different. What? Donnie, you can't be serious. The team needs you. But do I need the team? I feel like I'm on a different wavelength. Like I'm too smart for my own good. Donnie, every team needs a brain and you're the best there is. The turtles wouldn't be the same without you. Maybe, but sometimes I wonder if I could do more on my own. Start a team where intellect is the main strength. But remember, your brothers love you for who you are, brain and all. I appreciate that, Oscar, I really do. I just need to figure out where I fit in this world. <music> Guys, I have something important to say. After this mission, I'm leaving the team. Leaving? Donnie, why? Is this about the argument in the workshop? Come on, Donnie. We were just messing around. I won't break your stuff again, I promise. Yeah, dude. And I'll lay off the jokes. You can't leave us. It's not just about the workshop. I feel out of place. Like I need to find where I truly belong. But we're a team, a family. We need you, Donnie. You're a vital part of us. I know and I appreciate everything we've been through but this is something I need to do for myself. So, what? You're just gonna start your own team of... Maybe not turtles, Raph, but I need an environment where my ideas can grow. We're going to miss you, bro. Like a lot. I'll miss you guys, too. But it's time for me to explore new horizons. Take care of them, Leo. You're a great leader. Okay, Donnie, think. What would McGregor do? Time for a little improvised explosive device, courtesy of yours truly. Wow, Donnie, that was brilliant. Guys, you should have seen Donnie just now. He took out the bad guy with one of his crazy inventions. Seriously? That egghead brother of ours did something cool? Donnie's always been a genius, dude. I bet he looked like a superhero doing it. He did. He's out there on his own, but he's handling it like a champ. Stay safe out there, Donnie. You're more than just smart. You're a hero. Ha! Who says you need a lab to be a genius? Dude, this car is awesome! How did you even... Just a little something I whipped up. Wait till you see what else it can do. Donnie, what's happening? Oh no, Mikey. I... I can't. What have I done? I thought I was making things better. I thought I was smart enough to handle it. Maybe being a genius isn't enough. Maybe there's more to being a Ninja Turtle, more to being me. I've always defined myself by my intelligence, my inventions. But what if that's not all I am? What if I'm more than just the brain of the team? I can't run from my mistakes. I have to face them, learn from them. I need to find a way to make this right. This isn't the end of my story. I have to go back, face my brothers, face myself. It's time to be more than just the smart one.
Hey, uh, Gwen, April, fancy meeting you here. Beautiful day, isn't it? Hi, Donatello. It is a lovely day indeed. What brings you out here? Well, I was just, you know, strolling around thinking about uh, quantum physics and um, you. Quantum physics, huh? That's quite the pickup line. Oh, Shell, I mean, I didn't. I'm not usually this nervous. It's OK. You're unique. I should probably go. Sorry for the awkwardness and the uh, weirdness. Wait, Donatello, how about we grab a coffee sometime? I'd like to hear more about your quantum physics. Really? You mean it? Yes, really. I'll text you the details. Maybe I'm not so bad at this after all. Peter, what are you doing here? Oh, hey Donnie, just hanging out. Your bro said it was cool if I crashed here for a bit. Love the decor, very sewer chic. I'm not sure you should be here right now. Things are a bit complicated. Oh, I heard about the whole car kaboom thing. Tough break, kiddo. I never wanted anyone to get hurt, especially not Mikey. You know, Donnie, we all make mistakes. Heck, I've made so many, they made a TV show about them. I guess everyone has their share of blunders. That's the spirit. Just remember, it's not about the mess up, it's about what you do next. Like that one time I... Maybe you're right, Peter. It's time I fixed what I broke. Go get him, turtle dude. And uh, if you see a talking dog around, tell him Peter says hi. Thanks, Peter. You're strange but helpful. Guys, I need to say something. I've been, well, I've been a real jerk. We're listening, Donnie. I let my pride and my ego get the better of me. I thought I was too smart, too different, but I was wrong. It's okay, Donnie. We all make mistakes, dude. Yeah, even me, and I'm like the king of mistakes. I wanna make things right. I vow to be the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and the best brother I can be. I belong here with you all. That's all we ever wanted. You're an essential part of this team, of this family. Group hug. And after that, how about we celebrate Donnie's return with a mega pizza feast? Only if it includes extra anchovies. You got it, guys. And Mikey, I'm, I'm really sorry. Forget about it, bro. You're back. And that's all that matters.